Hey there, Segudo golfers, Tom Segudo here. And today we're looking at something that's costing you big time, meaning that it's costing you shots on the golf course and it's ruining some of your golf swing happiness. It's all about the takeaway where the club is parallel with the ground. I see a lot of golfers focus on getting the club toe up in the takeaway. I've seen this in many golf magazines, many videos, all over. They say, go toe up. And that's what a good takeaway is supposed to be like. Well, there's one big problem with this and it's creating your big slice or your big pull because the club face angle determines the start direction of the golf ball. So the second I choose to open the club face is the second now at impact, it's pointing right, it's open. I'm here, I get back to the ball, there we are. So the ball's going right for the right-handed player. It's going off the planet unless I do one thing. I have to use psycho hand manipulation. I have to figure out how to get this club face back to square. So that comes in the form of toe up and then having to rotate the hands. They'll say toe up again. So rotate the hands to toe up. A lot of hand action through the impact area. The most important moment, and you'll hear this a lot in golf instruction, the most important moment is impact. It's because at impact, everything is decided. The fate of the ball is decided between the path and the club face. The path determining the curve, the face determining the start direction. If I want to be a consistent golfer, I need to have a lot less variables. Getting this timed up is the roulette wheel of destruction in your golf swing because you're always timing it. You're going to be good when you're on, when your timing's working, and you're going to be bad whenever you're off, when your timing's not working. And the reality is most of the time your timing will not be working. You have to practice all day long to perfect timing. Looking at this, toe up, hit the ball, and it's going right. So if I want to hit it straight, I shouldn't do toe up. I shouldn't do toe up. I keep the toe down, keep it down straight. Start direction of the golf ball. When you do your takeaway, you should tell your hands to not rotate. And if you're an avid toe upper, well then you know that you're one of those people that really has to rotate hands after impact. So you should focus on doing less because you can control the face more without having to use all that manipulation, all that timing of the face. I prefer, and I suggest that you do this. Square here, club face angled down. So some of you say, Tom, that's a, that's a closed club face. That's not square. The golf swing is a circle on a tilted angle. So we look at the face, it's squareness in relation to the arc. So the arc is tilted here. It should be perpendicular to the arc. If I start here set up with my hands parallel and I just take the club back doing nothing, the face will stay square because I'm doing nothing. I didn't, I didn't change it. This hand rotation changes the face. So that means that my hands have to change their orientation here at various parts of the swing. But if I don't change the orientation of the hands, the face will stay square. Boom. What's that look like? Looks like this. Lead hand down. That's a truly square face. Perpendicular to the arc of the swing. Here's the magic. This is why you're going to love it. When I swing through the shot, when I start like this, I swing through. I don't have to turn my hands. Ball goes to my target. I've got plenty of power. There's no power in turning the hands. That's not a legitimate power source. So I'm going to keep the face square and then I'm going to do nothing with my hands through impact, keeping it square. That's a straight shot. You can guarantee a straight shot. Why? Because the face is square. Just like you could guarantee a rightward shot if I go toe up. Oh, I chunked it. Man, it's tough to do. Face is open. You can see that also has a big effect on my low point where that club comes into the ground too. We don't want to lose control of our low point, do we? So I'm doing nothing through impact. Now, if I was going to go toe up and try and go toe up again, that requires all that hand action. I'm not sure where that face is going to go. That one went left for me. So you know what? I, 
I turn it over too much. I turn my hands too much. So I have to turn my hands over less, okay? Let me figure out how to do that. All right, I got it right there. Just thinking about doing that is causing a lot of headaches for me because the golf swing's already got enough going on. Last thing I need is to think about turning my hands through impact. I did it right again. So I'm getting lucky here. But the control of my low point has gone down, probably because it's greatly affecting my swing. So we're gonna get, a back, get away from that. We're gonna get away from that, go back to the square face again. There we go, much better strike, straighter ball flight, sounds better. When you start getting the face squarer, you're going to hit straighter, you hit the center of the face, the control over your contact points better. What else do you want with your life? That's why we play golf, to have that kind of fun. If you're looking for a way to play the best golf of your life, check out my online golf school, Segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program that will show you how to do that shot after shot. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you in a future episode.